How we doing everybody? Today we're going to be replacing an ABS tone ring on this 2006 Ford Escape Hybrid. Now this procedure will be the same for your Escape non-hybrid as well as your Mercury and Mazda variants of the Escape. Now the reason that we're replacing the ABS tone ring, the, the particular one we're doing is the driver side front. Now the reason we're doing it is because traction control is coming on when braking on dry pavement and there's no slip. Now I hooked up my dad's OTC Genesis scan tool and I was looking at wheel speed sensor readings and the driver's front was a little bit funky so come in here to where the CV axle is and your ABS tone ring is what I'm pointing at right now actually let me grab my flashlight and I will give you guys a better shot on that in just a second alright should be better now okay much better but if you can see right in the center of the frame at the end that tooth wheel that's your ABS tone ring and in this case it's broken and I'll show you um, you shouldn't be able to move it like I'm doing here right now with my finger and now uh, this will also cause your ABS light to come on it will cause all kinds of weird issues uh, this is a pretty common issue on the escapes now, Ford says that you have to replace the entire half shaft assembly. However, the half shaft on this is okay. And I was able to just get a replacement tone ring through Dorman through the local auto zone. And the tone ring was less than 10 bucks. So, we're going to start by jacking it up, placing it on axle stands. We're going to pull the wheel and tire assembly. We're going to have to pull the brake caliper off of the knuckle. We're going to pull the uh, brake rotor off and we're going to disconnect the knuckle at those two bolts right there that I'm pointing at. We're also going to have to pull the axle nut so we can pull the axle out of the hub and that should give us access to where we can change our tone ring. Now I did do the passenger side a year or two ago and it took me about 45 minutes so hoping this side will take me about the same I didn't film the other side so let's get started now I'm not going to really do a real time but I will give you guys updates as going along and doing this repair so see you guys when we get her up in there and uh, show you what we're dealing with in a little better detail alrighty we're coming apart pretty good now as you can see we got our wheel and tire off We've got our caliper. We've just got that hanging from the strut with a couple of bungee cords. We've got our rotor off. I've got the axle nut off. And at the moment, I am undoing the bolts for the knuckle to come free. I also pulled the wheel speed sensor. It's just this one bolt right here. And you're going to have to use it, just uh, twist it to get it out. Uh, I think it's going to storm here pretty soon so may not be able to finish this job immediately but I've got one more bolt to pull out to drop the knuckle. I'm actually going to take and put the floor jack underneath the knuckle so I can lower it down slowly and then uh, we'll get the old tone ring off. Alrighty finally got the CV out of the knuckle and wheel bearing hub assembly now it was kind of a fight one thing I did find that made it a lot easier is if you pop the outer tie rod end out now just be careful and don't do like what I do and I lost the nut so, so tomorrow morning I'll have to take the truck over to uh, either Napa or the local advance or AutoZone and just grab a well, outer tie rod end and I'll just steal the nut out of the package and 
I'll have the tie rod end for future use. So now what we want to do is take and clean this this surface right here extremely well and then we can put our new tone ring back in place and then we can start going back together so I will bring you guys back when this is all cleaned up here and we have our new tone ring in place alrighty got our new tone ring installed now now to clean up the end of the CV just use one of these little twisty wire brushes, brushes on my cordless screwdriver then I hit it with some brake clean and I use a little bit of grease on the outside of the CV to help the new tone ring go on then I just used actually this 24 ounce ball peen to tap around tap it home now I also I put a little bit of grease on the CV uh, or the splines that go into the hub so now I'm going to be putting the putting everything back together with the exception of well the nut for the outer tie rod end and I will see you guys when we're all back together alrighty got everything back together with the exception of that tie rod end now said in an earlier clip I was going to buy a complete tie rod end I think what I'm actually going to do is probably just go down to the hardware store in the morning and get the right size castle nut a whole lot cheaper than buying the tie rod end and actually the goal of this job is to be cheap here so uh, another thing you want to check is obviously just check your pads and rotors when you're in there now this actually does need um, pads and rotors all the way around be having that done in probably just a couple of weeks just need to kind of build up the cash reserves a little bit more and I'm actually gonna have my buddy do it for me just uh, I mean I could do it myself but I just really don't feel comfortable doing brakes on my own vehicle I mean but uh, so I'm gonna end this one here guys and thanks for watching now if you want a little more in-depth video uh, Ford Tech Make It Loco, he is, has a really good video on doing a tone ring on an escape. And I will throw the link to his video down in the description. So thanks for watching guys and please give me a thumbs up, drop a comment and subscribe if you haven't already. Be doing some more videos hopefully on the escape, I don't know when. And hopefully we'll be getting back to truck stuff soon here. So thanks for watching guys. And see you in the next video. Bye.